At the Air Force Research Laboratory, we are pioneering fundamental new advances for a number of the technologies that you live with every day. AFRL contributed to innovations like the internet, the compact disc, and speech processing and understanding, which initiated the early developmental years of Siri. We continue to think big. Now we are driving innovation for what will bring the next profound technological evolution. Quantum technologies will bring massive change, and moving to software-defined, agile communications is about to expand the limitations of current technology in new and previously unimaginable ways. Currently for the military, the communications landscape is complex, with dozens of waveforms and protocols, each with their unique hardware requirements hindering operational agility. AFRL is leading a technological change to do what was once done in months or years, down to hours with software code. The software-defined capabilities, the software-defined radio, is the wave of the future. Think about it this way. The cell phone that you used in the 90s when they first started coming out is not nearly as capable, but it's also not even compatible with much of the networks that are now deployed. That's because the frequency has changed, the waveforms have changed, so that fundamental backbone is much less capable than where we are today with the 3G, 4G, and soon to be 5G systems that will dominate the globe and enable smartphones as well as many other devices to communicate. This is where we're going within the Air Force Research Laboratory, bringing that advanced technology that we see in the commercial space into the military. The practitioners, the technologists within the Air Force Research Laboratory are central to making that happen for the Air Force. We're in the midst of doing that by advancing the technology and bringing it specifically to military applications. In particular, what we are looking at is how to deliver a communications capability that is completely in software. Where changing a waveform is not, doesn't involve buying new hardware, it doesn't involve reflashing new firmware, it's simply calling a different set of procedure calls in software. So we can change waveform capabilities very easily. The software-based approach imagines a future that's much more flexible, simply creating a new app, a new communications app, to add new communications capability. By using more of an agile, software-based approach, you really let, give yourself the flexibility to uh, create new waveforms and new capability much faster. With old, legacy, hardware-based approaches, it's a very serial process, and you have to make sure your waveforms work well with your hardware. By going software-based, you give yourself flexibility across a bunch of different software platforms that really so showcase uh, new developmental methodologies to get capabilities out the door faster. It also means that our coalition partners can go out externally and find generic hardware to support RF communications, and then we can layer onto that a waveform that is appropriate for the mission set that we're taking on with us, with ourselves, and with our international partners. With Software Defined Radio, you, you have a capability that works with any legacy product, and when you do your new waveforms, you can use any waveform imaginable. Not quite that kind of wave. We currently do a lot of CDL, but you can do DDL, Link 16, PTW, and it will essentially work like, like an app on your phone, just with a different product. One of the strengths here at AFRL when it comes to testing new capabilities, and especially with software-based approaches where you get new capability much faster, by having all these different uh, areas to test in and different test sites, it really lets us get outside and test things to prove them out early on in the developmental process, so we're not waiting to the end to see if it actually works or not. So it really feeds into a agile methodologies of continuously trying what works and then improving on what doesn't. We currently use un unmanned aircraft at various sizes to evaluate the mission capability that it offers. And our true software radio is hosted on those platforms to evaluate our radios in an airborne environment. Our approach with true software radio has only scratched the surface of what's possible. Today we have fixed function or, or firmware based radios Tomorrow we'll have software-based radios that will provide increased flexibility and dynamic adjustments to the environment. Beyond that, we would like to see the same thing that you trust in your smartphone, a capability that is easily adapted and upgradable and low cost and a very small form factor so that 
everyone on the battlefield can have that radio capability and easily adapt and interoperate to whoever they need to. With the game-changing development of the SDRF radio system, the Information Director continues its lineage of getting the right information to the right place at the right time. Using an innovative and agile development process, the AFRL team is developing new radial signals in weeks rather than months. This competitive advantage benefits the Air Force and the nation by keeping the fight unfair. Team with AFRL as we push the boundaries of the possible and define the future.